I miss Yogi Berra. I saw him play a few times when I was a child. He was one of the greatest baseball players ever. He played 19 years in the big leagues and made the All-Stars 18 of those years. He won 10 world championships, 10. He was selected most valuable player three times. And after his playing days were done, he was a skilled manager, taking both the Yankees and the Mets to the World Series. Not a bad resume. But you know what I also miss about him? I miss his malapropisms. We call them yogiisms. He would say things that made you go, what? In fact, they're legendary. Things like, no one ever eats at that restaurant anymore because it's always too crowded. Or, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Or, you can observe a lot just by watching. Or, baseball is 90% mental and the other half is physical. I miss Yogi. I miss Leonard Nimoy and Omar Sharif and Leslie Gore and Percy Sledge and Glenn Fry and Natalie Cole and David Boy. Only a few months ago, they were all here. The world seems different without them. They are missed. But like Yogi, they all left something behind that death cannot take away, the films, the music, the legacies. There's a chapter in the New Testament book of Hebrews about people like that, people whose lives ended but whose legacies live on. In the 11th chapter of Hebrews, the author talks about people like Abraham, Ruth, Esther, David, and so many others. He said they were individuals who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, and, in his words, of whom the world was not worthy. What did that mean? It meant they brought something to the world that was bigger than the world and made the world better than it could have been without them. And once they left, they were missed. But the gifts they brought live on. So, think about these two questions. Who is alive in your world right now who needs to know how much they mean to you, how much you love or appreciate them, because there are few things sadder than missing someone and knowing you'll never have the chance to tell them what they needed to hear. And what sort of legacy are you creating or do you want to create that will live on and will have an impact on others both now and yet to come. See you next week.